the day has finally come. Here we are back in Blaine, Washington. This is the third video in the series and they're actually working. They're actually live. It's alive. It's alive. Well, it's not so much that it's a supercharger. That is great. So what it does have is it has the magic dot connection as well as the payment screen. So really what this location is so exciting, if you can get excited about charging. I think I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited is the fact that it's got this extra plug. It's got the payment screen. So this is really going to benefit all of the non Tesla chargers out there. As we move over to this additional charger, if this will allow me to, I'm going to push up. I've got the other plug. So that is the CCS adapter that you see that you would plug into your non Tesla vehicle and you would be able to then fire up your app and use the payment screen and be able to charge your non Tesla vehicle. So what does that look like? So you would ideally probably do what I just did, unplug it, plug it into your car. And if you needed instructions before that, you're going to use the QR code. So you're going to scan this, click on that. Where does that take you? That takes you to tesla.com where you can download the app, fill that out, add a credit card and start charging. So that's going to be super amazing for folks on, on road trips as they'll be able to take advantage of the Tesla network. Now, not everybody can use it yet. There's not enough of these stations. So this is going to be a key location for folks leaving the United States and going on a road trip to Canada. So this is the most northern spot in Washington state. It's about three minutes away from the border. And so if you needed to top up before you cross over into Canada, you'll be able to do that in a Tesla or any other CCS compatible vehicle. So I definitely don't think I am one of the first people to charge. I definitely have documented this spot uh, beforehand in two other videos. But you can see now that somebody is here charging as well, which is fantastic to see. Last night I was here, I picked up a package. I did a quick little short about this being live. Hey folks, well, it's finally happened. Blaine, superchargers are live. So I had to come back today and film this in the daylight and get, uh, you know, some better footage and film it for all of you folks to be able to see. Again, if you haven't watched those other videos, there's a relatively new uh, express station here that's got some food, drinks, beverages. It's a truck stop. It's got lots of uh, things for you to do to kill time if you're charging. It's also a, a major fuel up center for, there's multiple gas stations here in Blaine. So in this complex, there's now a bunch of food to go along with that. So if you are road tripping or do, doing a day trip, uh, gas powered vehicles, electric vehicles. It's a, it's a good spot to kill some time. Obviously you're not killing that much time if you're fueling up, but uh, you know what I'm saying. There's some things here if you wanted to get out and stretch your legs while you were on a road trip before you entered Canada, or if you're starting a journey down south for the, for the day, you can uh, top up your car. So let's go inside the car and see how things are doing. One thing that I thought was sort of humorous was uh, the distance they left behind their car. <laughs> to, <laughs> uh, it's pretty comical. So the speed here in this moment, nothing exceptional. I'm in a very high percent state of charge. When I drew out, left home, I was at 80%. I arrived in Blaine, Washington at 60%. And even though I did the pre-charging and these are really fast, uh, technically version four cases with version three uh, power behind it, um, I'm only seeing 44 kilowatts, which is normal in that state. I'm already up to 300 kilometers at the 77% uh, the mark. As I said, I'm very anxious and curious to do a video where I come here at a much, much lower state of charge and see if I can kind of maximize my speed. 
you know, I'll never get beyond 250 kilowatts. I think the most I've ever seen is sort of just peaking in that two, 200 mark for, for a couple of minutes. So it'll be great to see if I can do that here. That'll just be a fun little test to do. So I've got one minute remaining before I'm back to 80% and I'm gonna unplug and be on my way. So if you really want to see more of the detailed information that I've done, I've got two other videos that you can click on as I sort of discover this place, see that it's here, didn't realize that there were chargers here, and we sort of uncovered uh, the difference between these uh, V4 cases and what the actual amount of power is set up. So again, this when I originally got it, I was thinking like this was going to be 350 kilowatts. Uh, it's currently not. Really the benefit is this is going to be an excellent top performing charger for a lot of non-Tesla vehicles that I think will really, really get that experience, get them to see what it's like of a, of a charging network that works really, really well. Nothing lights up, there's nothing on screen, there's no payment information when I'm using my Tesla to charge this, and why would there be? I don't need any of that. I just basically need to unplug it and plug in. A little bit about the cables, they're all on the opposite side of what I'm used to, so I guess this will really help uh, with the different types of cars. So longer cable, really, really strong, cumbersome cable. So filming and plugging in was a little bit awkward, but having these long cables is going to be excellent. Really easy to be able to move this around from one side of the car to another. You just have to have the charging port in, the, uh, in, a, in a reachable spot. But these addition of these big towers, longer cables and the payment really, really is key and will be excellent and will be an amazing stop for people to charge up any types of electric vehicles. So for now, gonna unplug. Let's stop it. I'm at 80%. Cable weighs a good amount. It's got some girth. We're not gonna talk about girth, are we? No. <laughs> So again, just to demonstrate, you're gonna walk up, you're gonna park here, you're going to push the button, so easy, and pop that out. Really well made, feels great, feels substantial. When you're done, jam that back in there. So thanks for watching everyone, and until next time, goodbye humans, and happy charging. So just help this guy out. He walked up the charger, couldn't, couldn't release it. So I just explained it to him as I was having trouble. I should have filmed it, but you know, filming strangers. Help, stranger, stranger, danger. But anyways, you pulled it out, pulled out the, the whole magic dock and um, he was just struggling with it. So it was a little bit different than I walked over and showed him that you just had to press the button and pull it down. But uh, it was sort of funny. It was sort of just, you know, it's, a, it's an interesting little, little moment that I wish I had filmed, but I didn't, but you know, now he knows. And knowing is half the battle. To those that have followed along and left comments, thank you so much. Uh, just wanted to let you know that this was here and this is now up and running. If you have a CCS car, I don't actually know anybody that has one. I've got a friend who's got a Chatamo and the other folks that I hang out with all have Teslas. So if you've got a CCS adapter, I'd love to know your experience. So please write a comment if you've come here and give it a try. To love to know to see how it works, to see how easy it is to use because on the Tesla, it's pretty damn seamless. So I'd love to know what it's like. Uh, if you'd love to meet up and, and we'd be willing to film your experience, I'd love to do that too. So reach out, let's find out, see how this works. And until next time, goodbye humans. Thanks for watching. I'm going to get back into Canada to watch the Canucks play their final game of the season. Before the playoffs, suck it Nashville, playing Winnipeg tonight. And I'm going to go play hockey, ball hockey. Doesn't get more Canadian than that. Canadian? No! Should get a donut, some maple syrup. I hate Timmy's. <laughs>